Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about MTG Finance and buyouts and I finally have the evidence and proof to you that people in MTG Finance are crazy. They are absolutely crazy. So this is the story of Craig Berry. Craig Berry I have talked to on Facebook before and he's reached out. He is the one who bought Lion's Eye Diamond at four months ago. There was only one copy on TCG Player for $250. He also bought, bought Moat. He wanted to be you know, famous. He wanted to be known. He was making really low quality videos. I don't know what he was recording on. Telling people what he was going to buy. And then telling people to go out and buy it. Therefore increasing the price of his cards. Now it doesn't work. And it does not. It did not work with Lion's Eye Diamond. Lion's Eye Diamond. He was able to artificially inflate to two hundred and fifty dollars, and people called him a genius. People said he was the best MTG finance or ever, and they followed him and they, as a community, loved him. But I knew the truth. Whatever goes up must come down. So Lion's Eye Diamond has finally come down to one hundred forty-two dollars and fifty-five cents on paper. You can get a playset for $559, no problem. It's selling on eBay for around $140, $135, $130. You can even get you can get two of them near mint for $260, so that's about $130 a piece. And no one's even buying them. So those are not finished auctions. You can get them for $120, $110. Depends on the condition, right? So let's talk about what happened. So as you can see, July, when four months ago, the card went from $140 to $250. Then from that time, it has gone down and down and down and down all the way to where, hey, where it's originally been. And not only is it a worse position because it's trending down, people are sick and tired of this. And they understand that when Craig tells you to buy Lion's Eye Diamond, it's so that he can get out at a higher price. But there's someone or some people who bought the card at $250 and they can't get out of it. If you bought the card at $250, you're sitting at like $142, let's say $120 on eBay. There's fees and stuff. Maybe you get $110 if you're lucky. Shipping, tracking, um, express shipping. Maybe you get $100 if you're lucky. Doesn't sound that good anymore, does it? Even at 142. So overall, it is hyped. MTG finance, finance hypes cards, so you buy them while they already own the card, so they can sell the cards to you. That's how it works. That's how it works. That's how speculation works. If I'm going to write an article, or I'm going to, you know, send an email list to people, hey, buy this card. I already want to have that card. And the people will buy the card and guess who they're buying it from or guess who that benefits me because now I can sell my copies of the card I already have to the people who are now hyping the card Lion's Eye Diamond reserve list very strong card unfortunately legacy has been dropping off in popularity right and that means the price is exactly where it started at before the buyout I would love to see Craig's response to this video because I know he has one and I know it includes buying out more Lion's Eye Diamonds. Eventually, Craig, you, this is a great opportunity for you to continue to buy these cards. Go for it. You know, I mean, why stop now? You can reinvest at the same price point that you previously bought it out. Do it. You can get double the copies, triple the copies. It's because it doesn't work that way. Legacy is not a growing format. And that's the problem. That's the problem with the reserve list. <laughs> it's, it's a huge problem. Um, so the next time you listen to someone who's telling you to buy something, even if it's me, sometimes I get real excited too. New file, yeah, right? Take it with a grain of salt. What is that person's objective? Are they really that smart? If they are, If Craig is really as smart as people in MTG finance community say he is and say that he can predict all these amazing card prices then he would have got out of this card at 250 he would already have a large stockpile of them 
create this panic, tell people to buy it, people are buying it, and sell into the 250, and then have the zero copies as of this moment. But that means someone bought the copies. I wonder who. Anyway, bye guys.